Greetings. My name is Isaiah. I was a prophet in Jerusalem and Judah many, many years ago. In the year 740 BC, our king Uzziah died. And I saw the visions from the Lord. I saw the Lord of Heaven's armies and that sight was beyond what I can adequately imagine in these visions the Lord of the universe asked who will be my messengers to my people in Jerusalem and Judah Who will go? Quickly I said, Here I am. Send me. And he did. But the task was not easy. There were warnings of great trouble ahead. You see, God's people refuse to seek him. Yet, there were wonderful prophecies about God's future plans for his people. The most wonderful of all this spoke of the birth of the Messiah, the anointed one. Let me read this to you. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in the land of deep darkness, a light will shine. For the child will be born to us. The government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen. And many, many years later, it happened. It happened in Bethlehem, just as the Lord has said it would. star and followed it from the east we've come so far to get here we held one hope that we might find the king but how could we know that he would be God with us Emmanuel come to us King of Israel abides with us in this little boy who could know it find the eternal one born into time this baby child is God we brought him gold, frankincense. 
incense in me here When riches untold he left behind We brought our best to celebrate a king Who'd left his throne So he could be God with us Emmanuel, come to us, King of Israel, abides with us in this little boy who could know it fine. Mortal mystery is somehow intertwined. This baby child is God with us. In all our wisdom we came to seek a king but how do you prepare to meet the Lord? In all my wildest hopes I never even dreamed Who the star was truly pointing toward What the star was truly shining for Proceeding, guide us through thy perfect life. God with us, Emmanuel, come to us, King of Israel, abide in us in this who could know it find the creator born redeemer of mankind and the hand of god is reaching out for mine this baby child is god with us Mary's baby child is God with us. wonder of the universe and its maker you don't know me I am a link in the prophecy of Isaiah in the lands of the east of Jerusalem back in 4 AD we and my friends we were studying the heavens and in this vast universe we observe God's miraculous hand. We saw His message talking to us. And then one night, we all saw a star rising from the east. And we discovered that this star is a star of a king. And this God was fascinated and excited. We figured, Let's put, our let's put our things on our camels, our instruments, and let's begin our journey. Let's follow the star so we can worship the king. Our journey was long and hard. You know, riding on a camel, doing that, it's really back-breaking. 
But months after months, we finally arrived Jerusalem. We told the people there that we are looking for a king. And we began to ask questions. However, some reason, this has made some the city upset about me asking regarding the king. The king Herod himself asked to meet with us to know what the king is all about. And his teachers and religious teachers of the law told him that the Hebrew prophets wrote about this king of Bethlehem. Now we began preparations to travel to the city and our hearts filled with joy and excitement. We would soon see the king. The star which, had, which we've seen in the east have appeared and we followed it and it led us to his home. When we were there, behold the child. We bowed down and worshipped. We offered him our gold, frankincense, and Mia. And after some time, we returned to our home and through the coming years we relived the amazing time that we were very few of the first people who welcomed the king of glory to the earth i remember the time vividly I was the king of Israel in Jerusalem under the Roman Emperor Augustus. The people of the city had greatly disturbed by a visit from wise men from the East. They wanted to know the birthplace of a newborn child whom they called the King of the Jews. They had traveled many, uh, many miles to worship Him. Much study must have affected their situation. I, not the baby, was the King of Israel. When my priests and teachers read that the king, that the newborn king, the newborn baby has been born in Bethlehem. I gave the wise man permission to find the baby and report his whereabout to me. However, they never return. In, in order to protect the people from the future report, I ordered the, the death of all the boys two years old in under in in around Bethlehem it had to be done I Herod was the king of Israel the kingdom was mine my family and I were living in Bethlehem when the Emperor Augustus ordered the census in Israel. Our family ran a small inn for travelers. One night during this time, our inn filled up quickly with tired and cold visitors who had come because of a census. After we had settled all the patrons for the night, we heard a knock on our door. 
My husband lit a lamp and went to answer. Outside stood a young man who was looking for a place to stay. He was obviously very tired and was standing in front of a donkey carrying a very young woman. My husband sadly told him that our inn was full. He explained that it would be very difficult to find a place to stay at this time of night. However, the young man said that if there were any small place, it would be fine. He explained that his wife was about to deliver a child. They desperately needed lodging. By this time, I had joined my husband. I knew that we had to help them. There was only one other place for them to stay, in our stable. At least, they would have a roof and a soft place to sleep. We made them as comfortable as we could and provided the things that they might need. They seemed to be very poor people. During the night, we heard the baby's cries. I quickly went to see if everything was all right. The mother and child were doing fine. As I stood looking at the child, shepherds from nearby fields entered the stable. So, this is the one. Look at him. A host of angels told us about his birth. We heard a choir of angels praise God in heaven. Never had we seen such a sight. We came to worship him. As I gazed at the family, I wondered what makes this child so special that God would send his messengers to announce his birth? Could this baby this tiny child really be the Messiah that we have been looking for? Greetings to all. I also have a story to tell of the Messiah. <coughs> I was living in Jerusalem at the time he was born. In those days, I would spend my time at the temple, worshipping God with praise and fasting. One day, I saw Simon. He was a righteous man. He often came to the temple. God said to him that he would not die without seeing the Messiah. That day, I saw him. He was holding a child, talking to a man and a woman. He started praising God and prophesying. He said wonderful things about the child. As I approached them, I started praising God. My spirit told me that the child was the Messiah, the one we've been waiting for. This was a king, a king. God gave me the opportunity to see him.
It was a long time ago when I first met Jesus of Nazareth. From that moment, my life changed. This Galilean fisherman had met the Son of God and his love won my heart. I walked with him and I worked with him and I probably knew him better than any other disciple. I recall as we walked from village to village and as he talked about how our loving Heavenly Father had sent him to earth with a message of love and forgiveness. After he died and rose again, he appeared to us and promised he would never leave us. He also told us what he wanted us to do. Eventually, my close friends, Peter, James, Andrew, and the others, they died and they went to be with him. For me, many years Fruitful work, persecution followed. As an old man, I was a, I found myself on the Isle of Patmos, a prisoner, and far from my earthly friends and alone. But every day I had special relationship with Jesus. One Sabbath, he visited me as I was worshipping in the Spirit. He showed me all the future troubles of the earth. It was horrible. Then he told me the future for all of those that loved him. Oh, words cannot express the joy and anticipation as he described what life would be like in heaven for all of those who loved him. A prophecy was given so long ago. Oh, a baby came, grew to be a man, and lived with us. And he talks about the Father's love. Then he gave his life so that we could all be with him forever. Imagine that. Eternity with God. No one would want to miss that. I hope to see all of you there. <laughs>